The Trichomania Retex Rally Championship is the newest competition in the F1 Retex Virtual Universe. The series will visit 10 countries on its one year trip around the globe, but for now, the crews are in Scotland, preparing for the year ahead at the pre season prologue in Kelso. The format is simple six stages combined to create a total time, and the fastest overall wins. The only exception is today, however, with the prologue being a single, non points paying stage of around a minute and a half. Before we delve into the action, however, let's have a look at the drivers and teams competing in this year's championship. If anyone deserves the number one cards, Christoph Holovchic, the former European rally champion, is driving for Scuderia Alitalia and has high hopes for the season ahead. In the number three car, driving Helling Solberg's Fiesta RS, is Rick Simpson for not such an expert rally. In the number four car, Peter Sanderson for Tristan Grand Prix and Mitsubishi Lanso. In the number 7 car, the first of two Team Ultimate cars, Subaru and Pretz, is Matt Holdar alongside teammate Marcus Hood, fellow Brett. In the number 9, Citroën Zara, it's Anton Bostovich coming out of retirement to drive for his own Hideout Rally team. In the number 10 car, Chris Bowman drives a Toyota Celica GT4 for Prism Motorsport. In the number 11 car, the third Team Ultimate entry under the Team Ultimate de France banner, it's Sebastian Prost. In the number 12 car, Matthias Vontalok in the Mitsubishi Lancer for his own Vontalok Motorsports team. In the number 20, Ford Cosworth RS, it's Fabian Rai for Polynesia Rally Team. In the number 31, Subaru Impress and Mark Kirby is racing for Zim Sport Rally Team. Number 50, Brad Jacobs is driving a Porsche 959 for Power Surge Rally Motorsport. In the number 70, Lancia Delta, Giovanni Roda makes a comeback with his Treba team. In the number 73 car, the first of two O'Loughlin Motorsport minis, it's Team Prince Dino O'Loughlin, and alongside them, his young teammate Joe Melrose, former F3RWRIS driver. In the number 83 car, one of Melrose's harshest critics is Jason Hamilton in the Red Bull World Rally Team car. And finally, last but not least, it's Carlos Kainz driving a Toyota Celica. TMRRC Prologue is go, go, go. The cars leave the start finish line. They're all neck and neck. Apart from Bosovic, who's already lost ground. Here we go for the first jump. It's still very close at the front. Looks like Mark Harvey was trying to make a break there, but he's run wide, and uh, Sebastian Prost has benefited the most from that. He's definitely in first, we can see from the helicopter cam with Joe Melrose in second. A large gaggle of cars behind fighting. Fabian Rai has made a mistake. You can see how slowly he was through the chicane there. Cross is still the clear leader so far early in the race, but Hall of Church, Bowman and Kainz are all in the mix right behind him. Over the jump, oh, that, that was a mistake from Prost, he's hit the lip of the jump, but he's just survived, but that's given Hall of Church and Kainz their chance to take the lead. The cars pour through, and uh, that's Bosovic and Simpson fighting for last place. Uh, Hall of Church, oh, Hall of Church is making a move, Hall of Church is starting to make a gap to Prost behind, and there's uh, Rick Simpson who has fallen even further behind now. Let's see if we can get another shot off the leaders. There's Holovchich, he's miles ahead of Prost now. He's broken. I don't know if Prost is going to be able to keep pace with this, but uh, Bowman and Kainz and uh, Melrose look like they're fighting over third just now because they can't keep pace with Prost either. Over the jump they go, that's Prost definitely in second place now. I don't think he's going to lose that, but look at how far ahead Holovchich is now. He is absolutely on it in the second half of the race. Cross is a clear second, and you can see that Kainz and Melrose are fighting over third. That is a massive gap. We can't even see Hall of Chich anymore. There are Kainz and Melrose. Looks like Giovanni Roda has joined the battle for fourth. There goes Hall of Chich through the loop, and he wins the race. There's Cross in second. He will cross the line safely. But look at the amount of cars fighting for third. It's oh, it's chaos. I have no idea who's won this. Oh, there's a car upside down, it's Peter Sennerson! Let's get a replay of that, that was some finish! And if you just look in the background, you can see that Sennerson's already made a mess of his landing. That puts his car in towards the ramp wall, and the result is it gets turned over. Very lucky not to lose position to Rick Simpson at the end there. Now, a couple of drivers found an alternative route, first and second placed Christoph Holovchic and Sebastian Prost. You can see they went backwards off the start line instead of taking the normal route. So they skipped the first sector and continued as normal until this point in the track where they went off to the left back to the first checkpoint that they missed, crossed the line and turned back again to head back towards the circuit. It doesn't look very fast, but I can tell you it's worth somewhere between three and six seconds. 
However, those two times were disallowed for not following the intended route of the course. It didn't matter though because both finished first and second anyway. All of Chich finishing four seconds ahead of Prost in second. Joe Melrose led a massive group of cars into third position. Chris Bowman uh, was there all along. Carlos Kainz in sixth looked like he could have been fighting Prost and Hall of Church for the win to start with, but fell back and eventually barely scraped into the top ten. Giovanni Roda looked like he could have fought for fifth, but eventually finished at the back of that group with Dino Laughlin making run towards the end. Fabian Rye did not make up time after his mistake early on, but look at the gap between him and O'Loughlin, one hundredth of a second, it doesn't get any closer than that. Rounding at the top 10 was another GRRC car, Brad Jacobs, um, Anton Bosovic, he looked quite slow to start with, but eventually picked up the pace slightly, and got a respectable 11th place. Mark Carby was pretty much on his own for most of the race, and ended up in 12th, and the battle to avoid the wooden spoon just went Sinnerson's way, we saw earlier he finished the race upside down and that meant he was only about a tenth and a half ahead of Rick Simpson in last place with the aptly named Not Such an Expert Rally Team. Matthias Hontelock, Jason Halton and Marcus Hood all failed to finish on account of they failed to set times. So Christoph Olofcic sets the pre-season pace by winning the pool. Join us again in a couple of weeks when we will be showing the highlights from Rally Monaco. The question is, can Prost catch up with Holofchurch and can the rest of the field catch those two guys right at the front? We'll see you in two weeks. Until then, goodbye.